What's going on everybody? So the Jaguars went out today in week two and lost to the Tennessee Titans by a score of 33 to 30 in Tennessee and the Jaguars now fall to 1-1 one one as the Tennessee Titans start to 2-0. So Tennessee Titans are top of the division at 2-0. Uh, Jaguars, Colts 1-1 one and, one, and now Houston Texans are now 0-2. So uh, this game, I mean, I got to say, man, week one with the, you know, Jaguars Colts, I really thought, you know, a lot of people kind of gave the, said Colts beat themselves, you know, Colts played down to the level. You know, really that game, I saw two good teams out there really competing their butts off and, you know, ultimately, you know, the, the better team won, the Jaguars won. You know, this week I pretty much saw the same thing. You know, I saw two uh, good teams out there really battling it out and, you know, the Jaguars, uh, lose by three to a team that not many people really gave the Jaguars a shot in. And I'm not going to be the type of person that's all about really moral victories or anything because I'm not really like that. But given the expectation level for the Jaguars, I mean, I just feel positive that it does look like the Jaguars actually have a good team. I mean, I think that the Jaguars are, uh, you know, they're looking good right now. I mean, especially on offense, man. I mean, uh, you look out there and some guys really contributed. I mean, J James Robinson had his first 100-yard game. Uh, 16 attempts for 102 yards and a touchdown. So, you know, he played really nice. I really like seeing LaVisca Chenault out there. You know, he had he was in there playing Wildcat. He played running back, too. He had 37 rushing yards, and he also tacked on uh, 35 receiving yards. So, I mean, Chenault's a player that I really like. And I even think that Gardner Minshew played well. I mean, uh, he, he was kind of sustaining drives for us. He really put on the second half. I mean, the Jaguars in the second half scored 20 points as opposed to uh, really the first half when they scored 10. And, you know, it really felt like Gardner Minshew kept on giving the Jaguars a chance. Now, he did throw, throw two interceptions today. I mean, his total numbers at the end of the day were 30 for 45, uh, 339 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, so that's a 67% completion percentage. Um, and he had two interceptions, man. One of the interceptions, it looked like it was a throw to O'Shaughnessy, and it was a throw that was tipped by Colin Johnson, so it just kind of went up there for grabs. And the second interception sucked. I mean, you know, I know I know Clowney kind of lined up offsides that play, which is obviously a horrible miss call when it comes to the referees, but, you know, that really didn't have any impact on the play, and it just didn't seem like when Gardner Mitch was thrown to the middle of the field that he kind of seemed like he was telegraphing it. And, you know, it's going to be an issue with Gardner Minshew with just his height. You know, when you're a shorter quarterback, uh, you face those kind of things. But you just have to, you know, be a Drew Brees and figure out how to overcome, you know, that kind of thing and kind of get the ball over the line of scrimmage. But, I mean, overall, this is a good battle. I mean, I really liked what I saw out of the offense. I really think at the end of the day where we lost it was... Um, just not getting enough pressure on Tannehill. I mean, we sold out on Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry held him to 25 attempts for 84 yards. I mean, the Jaguars just kept stuffing him and stuffing him. So played a great game against him. But, you know, Tannehill, you know, did good things against us. I mean, 18 for 24, uh, 239 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions. And, you know, that's a 75% completion percentage. So uh, Tannehill, you know, Tannehill did his thing. And, you know, when he tried to, when he, do everything to kind of stop Derrick Henry and then, uh, you know, kind of put the ball into Tannehill's hands. Tannehill went out there and won the game for them, so he did a good game. But I also think the Jaguars did not do a good enough job of putting pressure on Tannehill. And, uh, you know, on third downs, they there, there were times where they just couldn't get off the field on third down. But, you know, this game, it almost seemed like this game, the Jaguars were really playing with house money just because, you know, the Jaguars, no one expected them to win week one and then, you know, Jaguars fall to one one but the next couple of games, if we're looking ahead, we have Thursday night football against the Dolphins. I mean, I'm not going to say the Jaguars should win that one, but, you know, the Jaguars, you know, a lot of people are going to be picking it to win, especially given that the Dolphins are 0-2 so far this season. And, you know, after that, we have the Bengals, who the Bengals are also 0-2. So, really, the first half of the schedule is very juicy for the Jaguars, especially when you look, when you look at the second half and you have to play the Steelers the the Ravens and Steelers and teams like that. So really this being a half of the year is where we're going to really have to take advantage. But uh the Jaguars today, I mean it was a it was a nice game. I mean it, it was fun to watch. We were in it and you know at one point you know we tied the game up but we just couldn't uh we couldn't close out man. The defense the defense just kinda let us down in the way. I mean the the secondary was not very good. And with this team, I mean this team I really think that the sky's the limit with this team 
The only thing you worry about is depth. I mean, we already lost Jared Wilson, and, and you notice the secondary was uh, was you know a lot worse than than it was last week, seemingly. But um, at the end of the day, the defense did they did a lot better the second half. I will say. I mean, the Titans went out to score 24 points in the second in the first half, and only nine points in the second half. But um, really, I mean, at, at, the, at, the, at the end of this game, I do think that the Jaguars deserve more respect. I mean, everybody was writing out the Jaguars this game, and really they shouldn't have. I mean, you know, it was kind of it was frustrating when after week one, everybody was kind of taking credit away from the Jaguars and kind of giving it all to the, you know, just saying, oh, the Colts beat themselves. The Colts, you know, they shouldn't have lost this. It's the Jaguars. But, um, you know, this game, I really think just hanging around with the Titans. I mean, I saw the NFL.com has Titans. As number five in their power ring. So the Jaguars definitely deserve some respect. But now, you know, we're playing with house money this game. But at the end of the day on Thursday, we must win that. You know, we must win if we do want to stay in contention. Uh, Dolphins are a team that we should beat. Uh, you know, we should go to two and one after that and kind of forget about this loss. And then we have, you know, 10 days off before we, we go out and face the Bengals the following week. So it's, uh, you know, it sucks that the Jaguars lost this one. But, hey, we have a good team, seemingly good team. And we got some good weapons. Good young players, Josh, your James Robinson was doing a good job, and you know Lavisca Chenault was also very good. C.J. Henderson had a big pass breakup. Uh, Clavon Chase on, I thought, you know, flashed at times, but yeah, I mean, with this team, just got to, you know, just got just got to keep keep putting the pedal in the middle and um, doing good things. Also, shout out another rookie, uh, Clavon Chase on, did get a sack, so that was good stuff, but. Just got to get, you know, Tavon Bryant didn't have a good game. He had some penalties, but just got to clean some stuff up. You know, Gardner Minshew, I have a lot of faith in him. I do like him as a quarterback. And, um, you know, the Trevor Lawrence talk, I mean, the Trevor Lawrence talk can pretty much stop. I mean, the Jaguars, the Jaguars aren't getting them one overall pick. And, um, yeah, I don't, want, I don't want to see his name flashing by anymore. But, yeah, I mean, Jaguars today lost, but plenty, 14 more games left on the season. I'm not going to sweat this one too much. Congrats to the Tennessee Titans. Congrats to guys like Titan Upload. Uh, congrats to guys like Titans Tube, MJ from Sports Talk. Um, it's a good game, and yeah, go Jaguars. I'll be kind of a short week this week, so uh, tomorrow I'm going to be filming a uh, preview video uh, for the Dolphins. I will be going live on a Dolphins YouTuber, TD Finns, uh, TD Finn, oh, what's his name? Um, let me look up his name real quick. TD Finn's talk. I'll be on his channel. I'm um, going live, kind of talking about the Jaguars with him. So it should be fun, man. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Duval till I die. Go Jags. I'm out.